In 2007, the North Carolina Zoo opened the Kid Zone, a special exhibit designed to give young people close encounters with nature. One of the featured attractions last year for the Kid Zone was a pair of Galapagos tortoises. This year, one of the Galapagos tortoises has returned to the Kid Zone, but we've added two more giant tortoises to the exhibit. These are Aldabra tortoises, the second largest tortoise on Earth. Zookeeper Chris Shupp tells us more about these enormous reptiles. The Aldabra tortoises are found on the Aldabra Islands, which are uh, some islands that are part of the Seychelles Islands, located north of Madagascar, off the eastern coast of Africa. The population is listed as uh, vulnerable or threatened. Both of our Aldabra tortoises are females, and they were originally wild caught as mature animals on the Aldabra Islands. Uh, in the early 1970s, they were uh, brought to the Philadelphia Zoo, which is where they've been ever since. In the wild, the Aldabra tortoises are primarily herbivorous, which means that they eat a lot of different types of plant matter. Here at the zoo, we also feed them a high fiber diet, things uh, primarily like kale and other leafy greens. While the Galapagos is generally thought to be a little bit larger, a, a large male Aldabra can reach to be about 550 pounds, and a female can get to be about 350 pounds. As far as lifespan, it's generally thought that they can reach 100 years or more pretty easily. There have been reports of tortoises that reached uh, more than 200 years. They should be out in the exhibit here every day through probably sometime in October. Last year the Galapagos tortoises helped make the Kid Zone one of the zoo's most popular exhibits. This year with two types of tortoises we expect it to remain a visitor favorite. If you'd like to learn more please check out our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.